Hey guys, I'm back with Kino and Blood Type, the Russian version, as you all requested. Krupa Krovi? Is that Russian for Blood Type? I don't know. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. The, the letters, uh, the number of letters match. So once again, sit back, relax, and enjoy this psychedelic adventure. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna sit back on this one. Oh yeah, give it to me. I had a long day. Let's see what's up. I had no idea the song was about war, but here we are. I thought it was about a random guy stabbing some other guy and the other guy getting into fights with random people. Yeah, it's definitely Afghanistan. Check out the um, environment. When the Russians went to Afghanistan. In the 80s, right? <laughs> That, those are like the classic giant Russian helicopters you see like everywhere. I'm thinking of Battlefield, of course. I forgot they were called. these helicopters let me know in the comments what was this called again ah, i really forgot <laughs> I'm trying to look for the helicopter, I can't find it. Uh, I was looking at K520 Super Holcomb, but no, that's not it. The Havoc? 
am i 28 havoc Even the ending, man, it's so dreamlike. Listen to it. Like as it slowly fades out. Listen. It's a great song. What can I say? I, uh, I'm a fan of Kino. I gotta say, I listened to like two songs so far and... They're really, 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 they're really, really, really good as a band. I was going to say the singer, but they're really good as a band. And uh, yeah, I also found out the guy died in the 90s, was it a car accident? Which is absolutely, what a shame. Holy crap, the guy, the guy's very talented. And unfortunately, sometimes, you know, just life just hits you out of nowhere, you know. But um, great song. Again, just, um, just the, I don't know, it's, it's a... Um, dream state like song that's why i feel like especially those guitars again the voice just being very like passive you know just like letting the song kind of like fall out of his out of its mouth you know and the instruments in the background and again it's very like i don't know it's a psychedelic i have no idea that's what i call it but i have no idea it's just very like nostalgic for some reason it's it's incredible it's it i don't know it gives me feelings that I'm not really sure what they are. It's just, it's very like, it's like a dream. It's like a dream, basically. It's a great one. Also, the, um, I rarely see images from like, you know, the Afghanistan war with Russia from like in the 80s, I guess. Obviously, we, know, we all know what's up with the, uh, with the Americans in Russia and all those other people who were there. But it's rare that you see the Russians, you know, back there. So, interesting to see as well. And again, I'm wondering if like the lyrics that he was saying, they could be like related to the images because... You know, um, there was a one point he says like, "I don't want, I don't want victory at any at any price." And you know, I think that's when like Russia retreated from uh, Afghanistan at one point, right? So maybe like it wasn't worth it. Victory wasn't worth it. I'm wondering if the lyrics have anything to do with that. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. It could be completely wrong. But um, thank you for watching. Thanks.